Everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit. You can call me Hiccup, and this is Timely Crow. Welcome back to the Modheim series, guys. I'm so glad you decided to join us again out here. By the way, guys, if you're sticking around for the episodes, if you've seen a couple, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. Let us know you're enjoying the series. Drop us a comment below. Hope to hear from you. But anyway, guys, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. We found this nice island to kind of park the boat near. If you guys haven't seen the boat, take a look at this thing. Have you guys ever seen something like this? No, because it's modded and it's awesome. And this is, what, what is this again? The rafting mod or the raft mod? Just just raft. I think it's uh, Valheim Raft. Capital R-A-F-T. Doesn't stand for anything. No, definitely just kind of inspired probably by that, by that raft game, which I haven't played that one. You know, I should. I love survival games, but Valheim, hmm. Valheim is awesome. Anyway. Yeah, we're still looking for Black Forest. We're still looking for uh, more copper, more tin, more sertiline cores, and definitely the location of the Elder Boss. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. It's early in the morning. <laughs> um, yeah, still trying to track down that boss location. But uh, anyway, it's time to set sail again. It's actually, like, timed that perfectly. It's like sunrise. Yeah. Yeah, how perfect. Good, good morning, yeah, Valheim. Super early. In the, it's super early in the morning for you. I'm complaining about early in the morning. It's like two hours earlier over where you are. <laughs> Sleep is for the weak, except <laughs> in Valheim where having a rested bonus is key. Right. Right. I did so much grinding uh, at night off camera in my solo mission, in my solo campaign. It was a it was a rough way to do things, but I had so much uh, resin from living in the Black Forest. Oh, nice. There we go. Yeah, I guess maybe... Um, Guys, I had we had an issue yesterday where I couldn't get on the boat, and we were having all sorts of trouble. Uh, and uh, I think I think it was I think it was because I was over encumbered. Also, tip if you're gonna play with this mod, the boats, uh, the beds on the boat, so you can use them to sleep through the night. However, whenever you move the boat or wherever the boat rocks, it tends to reset your spawn point or erase it. Like I can set this, and we can watch it for a second here. Oh, come on. There it is. I, See? There it happened. It just happened. <laughs> oh, it just happened. Yeah. Nice. So you'd have to reset your spawn point again. And it, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not reliable. <laughs> Make sure you've got a bed somewhere on land. Um, you can definitely sleep on the boat for, you know, just passing the night. But uh, it'll, it's, it's tossed us back to the, uh, to the spawn location, which, which was horrible. It was a nightmare. Let's try and get out of here, guys. I'm going to try and steer this thing today. Uh, let's back out. I'm gonna back out. Beep, beep, beep. Oh yeah, guys. If I'm backing up like that, and if Timely stood up there, the smoke would definitely choke him to death. Yeah. It's uh, it's actually kind of fun. Yeah, I love that yeah. the wind is like alive. It feels alive in this game. I I love the wind. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah. On the way that like the torches here, they. You know, you can see them moving in the wind. Um, it's just a nice detail. I'm not sure if, if the uh, if the modder had to whoop, oh. had to program that or or what. I wonder. There we go. Oh, now we've got wind. All right, there we go. Uh, we might lose it actually. Eris is a trickster. She Ooh. does. She does not care. Oh no! Where'd you go? Oh, you're still up it's, there. It's uh, okay. <laughs> it's kind of it's it's like. It's really trying to do the whole, uh, like, if I if I jump, then it's trying to, like, throw me off the boat. Which oh. is not realistic, technically, but I see what it's going for. Right. Like, you jump, and you are you don't have the same momentum as the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fine. Yeah, yeah physics. What are you gonna do? Who needs it? Alright, guys, out on the open water. Kind of. I mean, that's a pretty good looking black forest actually to our right. That's new, right? Is it? It is. That is new. All right, guys, I'm going to pull this over. Oh, I see a troll cave already. That's not good. Oh, nice. Swamp and a black forest. Guys, this could end up being a good spot. 
Uh, are those rocks out there? I'm really tempted to just drive Rock Eater over and just like crash it into the rocks and just park it there. Nice. Yep. This is what we're going to do, guys. I swear, the best way to get out of anywhere with this boat is just to back up. Oh, yeah, look at the swamps right next door. This is awesome. Hey, I see a crypt, like, right here, actually. Oh, nice. Boom! Okay, guys, time to defend the boat. Is that a three-star? We got a one-star, a two-star, and a three-star. Pretty sure. Yep. Oh, yeah. Time to do some battle. Time to try out this new shield, guys. Look at the shield we got for hunting the... Uh, Finally showed us the correct way to hunt sea serpents. <laughs> ah, no! Swimming. Yeah! Nice. Oh, that was a flint axe. Oh, it's got fire damage. Interesting. All right, guys, we're going to get our rested bonus, and then we're going to hop out and explore this uh, this black forest here. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, the rested bonus is needed. We might not be able to... We're gonna have to clear out that so that uh Oh I see it. Clear out. Yeah! Oh he's armored. Wow, look at the health. This is like fighting a troll. I know this is like awesome, cool, you know black metal tower shield, but I'm still just not a fan of the tower shields. I like my parry. Yeah. I miss the parry. Alright, we do have a crypt right over here. You wanna come raid this crypt real quick? See if we can find the elder location? That's what I'm really interested in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 because the world will get slightly harder. As soon as we know where he is, or as soon as we beat him? Uh, beat him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that it's scaling with us as we as we progress. All right. Tower shield, though, you know, we'll hang on to the tower shield for this stuff. This is, uh, this is what it's good for, these tight corridors. Oh, boy. Back in the crypts. No, chambers. Oh, we have company already. Try me. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I kind of wish I had a, my hammer now. I need a blunt weapon in here, guys, but that's okay. Oh, man, we have so much serpent meat, actually, from being on the ocean. If we get to the Elder, we'll have some awesome food to fight with. Oh, we got two surgical yeah. cores back here. Doing good, doing good. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Uh-oh, a spear broke. Oh, no. Can you get by? There you go. There we go, send the monk in. <laughs> Hello. There we go. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my chi abilities. Um, but you can only use it after you've got to go punch him a lot. Oh, yeah, you build up combos with that guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it also has, I think I need to try, there's like an energy orb that I can shoot out. Um, it goes around and around and around, jeez Louise. Yeah, wow. Oh, wow, though. Cool. More cores. Uh, this had some blue items, some ruby and some gold. Um, nice. Oh, you know what I found out, actually, while I was building in creative mode? Uh, I built, like, guys, if you haven't seen it, go check out my Pillars in the Plains video. Uh, it's a really fun video, and uh, actually drops on the day that we're recording this video. <laughs> That's uh, nice. a lot of times a little ahead, guys, if you can't tell. Um, but, yeah, I found out uh, the green gop on the trees in the marsh in the swamps. You can chop that down, and that gives access oh. to an awesome bow. I never knew that. Dude, the guck? Yeah. Yeah, I never got a piece of guck in my entire vanilla playthrough. I never got that. So, yeah. I, that's so crazy. I played through thinking that they would, like, so there are slimes that are on, that are on the trees, um, and I thought that the guck was slime. And then I got closer and I saw that like, wait, that looks different than the, the actual slime. And yeah, went up there, got the, uh, is that, is, I believe that's like the best bow in the game, right? I think it, I think it is. See, that's the thing. I've never oh. actually used it. I think the boat did just crush that, that dude. We should definitely, uh, hunt, uh, oh, no. leeches. It's a Draugr. 
I, I wondered. I just got hit. Well, there's a there's a Draugr Bowman right there. It just hit me for like Where? 45 damage. Where? <laughs> He's right under us. Oh, which is crap. very appropriate for a for a Draugr. Or I'm over here. Actually. He's undead. The spirit shock should be pretty good. And if you've got that passive uh, holy damage on your fists. Oh, he's looking at you now. And yeah, that did all right. Nice. I think we have very appropriate classes for all this undead stuff we're doing. Oh, um, so interesting thing. My fists, I thought that they did, but they do not have the passive stuff on them. Well, um, the Draugr and the Skeletons are both uh, weak against blunt damage, aren't they? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's just Skeletons. But your, whenever you pop your shell, it gives us spirit damage on our attacks. Oh. Well, yeah, very appropriate then. I figure we can get our rested bonus, have us a little meal, and then go back out and look for another crypt. Yeah. Oh, okay. At least the Black Forest continues over here, guys. It do oh, no, though. It does kind of look like a really small patch again. Like, mm -hmm. what is up with this? Guys, we're not having very good luck with the forests. Hello? Any skeletons in here? Yes. Oh, there you are. Ooh. I'll take this nice. whole building down! I'll take the whole building down! That's fun. I've seen... What do you call them? Big six, big six years, big six. Big six years. I think I don't yeah. know. I, I don't know that that. Oh my gosh! Just counter blocking everything. Please come up here and smash everything. I'm just gonna keep counter blocking. Oh yeah, guys! I don't need a shield. I keep forgetting that the big heavy weapons have like really great parry bonus. That's why I need to use the big heavy weapons this playthrough. Ah, there we go. All right, what's in the, yeah, no, you're right though. I think I have seen them in, in... Uh -huh. Oh, we have one? Da, 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 da. Awesome, all right guys, where is he? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, we have to sail out a bit. Oh my. Like a good bit. All right, well, should we stock the boat a little bit before we go and just bring as much like tin and copper as we, at least maybe like one copper vein and a bunch of tin? Yeah, yeah. Um, we can always set something a little more permanent up once we're there. Uh-oh, my pick is actually not... I did not fix it. Foolish! Alright, guys, we're going to do some stocking up. We're going to grab a bunch of tin and a bunch of copper and load the boat down a little bit, but then we're going to sail out to where the Elder is. Ugh. Yeah, I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. Uh, thankfully, we haven't seen a troll yet. Knock on wood. Oh. Hang, hang on, knock on wood. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Knock. Knock. Knock, knock. 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 Ah! Go away, Grey Dwarf. Oh, thank goodness it's sun time. It's the sunrise. It's the morning time. <laughs> what am I saying? Let's get out of here. <laughs> we spent all night wandering around the Black Forest, guys. But... It's time to get out to where the Elder is. We finally know where the Elder is. Finally. Finally. Oh, yeah, this place has so much storage. We need more storage. We're going to need to build a bigger boat, guys. Eventually. Eventually. So, eventually. Okay. So you can see the Elder on the map. Can you point us in the right direction? I'll steer. Uh... You just tell me when yeah. we're. When are we? Yeah, just let me know when I'm actually facing in the right direction. I'm gonna start turning. This boat is very difficult to steer. Oh yeah, it's like driving a boat. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to turn us? Uh, keep going to the to the left. We need to let you know. I think we'll, we'll probably have to learn like boat terms for this thing. Yeah, port and your <laughs> some. Somebody who knows boats is cringing at that one. Come on! Okay. Okay, so right over here, this is starboard. Ah. And this over here, left, is port. So keep turning it. Port. port. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Port side. 
Um, and then forward is a head, and behind us is a stern. A stern. Why? All right. Uh, -huh. uh port a little bit more, and uh, a head. Ah, there we go. All right. Uh, drift it a little bit. Um, starboard. Starboard, and then just a little more. I mean, we'll. Won't be perfect. There you go. That's good. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, this thing is sluggish to react, but it's pretty nice, though. I wonder if it goes faster if we have multiple sails. We should build a boat mm. with all three sails and really see if this thing takes off. Although that boat will be so big, there's no way we'll be able to park it anywhere near anything. Oh, no. But that would be exciting. I'm excited to build a giant boat. And... We can build fires on it, so we could. We could make an entirely functional raft base. That's crazy. All right, guys, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, look at this. Doesn't look like we have too, too far to sail. But uh, you know how the ocean is. You know how the wind goes. We'll see how long it takes. Oh, uh -huh. that's just going to fly out the back of the boat. I'm going to watch. I'm going to get a bird's eye view from the boat. We're going to see if Timely can pick up the meat before it flies off the back of the boat. Oh! That one went. There. Ah, there they go! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Come back, little meats. Yeah, that might not be good to do while we're, while we're moving. That's funny. Oh, yeah, wow. I don't even think my cartography skill is very, very high. But, uh, guys, look at the map. Look at the trail we're carving. It is actually definitely wider that is actually pretty cool like it is noticeable i think like to me it is i spend enough time staring at the map <laughs> right yeah especially sailing you know how many times we made the sail to the first elder outpost location in my vanilla series on on the oh man not, yeah was it the carve well the first time we did it on the raft and <laughs> oh oh my gosh <laughs> The Boring Voyage. That was a that was a good first sale. If you guys haven't seen The Boring Voyage, I'll drop a link to the to that episode down in the description. <laughs> that was my first time sailing, and it was uh, well, it was very long. <laughs> yeah, this might be a great place to set up a more permanent base, and then, you know, we've got plenty of uh, Sertling cores with us already, but uh, you know, definitely by exploring and farming out here we'll probably be able to make a bunch more all right i'm thinking this little spot right here i'm gonna try and get us as close as i can there we go all right rest 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 uh let's hop off real quick and see if it if it'll make it stop moving stop swaying and because it's still listing toward the shore here yeah yep there it goes pop it just makes it freeze in place beautiful all right not a bad spot to land, guys. I like this little raised area. We should build a little outpost right here. This is this is actually really nice right here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get started on a little outpost where we can hopefully set up some beds and get started here. Yeah. Right. Uh-oh, troll already? <laughs> guys, looks like we're going to have to fight for our uh fight for our right to claim this piece of property here. Oh no, and we've got a a uh a... Greydorf spawn over in the corner over here. I've got him harpooned. <laughs> that is crazy, actually. Uh-oh. Having trouble dealing with the Greydorf. Stamina is an issue. I will be there as soon as I can. Oh no, splitting Grey Dwarf. Guys, I got really got to learn oh. these stars a little better. Oh yeah, Grey Dwarfs don't like fire, guys. Let's use this little flint fire axe we found. Nice. Hell yeah. Alright, coming over. Let's go take care of this troll, guys. Save the stamina, save the stamina. Nice dodge. Ah. Oh. Took that on the shield, that was nice. Oh gosh, too many gray dwarves everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my butt kicked. Oh, it's a, regren a regenerating gray dwarf brute. I like that. Uh -huh. I, I like that. 
Ha! That's what the fire's for. Regenerating, whatever. Yes, look at that, double counter, that was beautiful. Ah, oh, yes, finish them. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right, where was I? Guys, I'm just trying to set up a nice little home for us. It'll be, uh, I don't know, semi-permanent? Pretty permanent? We'll see. We'll see what uh, we'll see what comes of it. All right, definitely want a treehouse. I always love building a treehouse in the Black Forest. You down for a treehouse? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. We're gonna set to that. I'm gonna go ahead and let that wrap up the video for today because it's gonna take a while for us to throw together some materials to to actually get this uh, this treehouse built and get a little shelter going here. But uh, yeah, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up to show your support and stick around. We're gonna be building up our supplies, getting some better armor because you know the bosses can have stars and they can have uh, affixes and stuff. So uh, I think we're gonna wanna get our full set of copper armor and some copper weapons before we go and challenge the next boss. So stick around and join us for that in the next episode, guys. And have a great rest of your day.